Hey there, this is Florian from Too Many Wheels and today we will take a look at this return. This return is basically a rotation on one foot and using your edges to uh, trigger the, uh, the correct rotation. If you don't know what the edges are or some information about the weight repartition, don't forget to watch my gazelle tutorial uh, which is needed for this one. This is called three turn because it draw a uh, three on the ground if you look uh, look at it from above. Um, so yeah, uh, we will take uh, a look at a slow motion video uh, where I exaggerate the move a lot. So here I do it twice. So this is just to see how it is exaggerated to really see the weight distribution and what the uh, skate do on the ground. Here again in the exaggeration mode. So first, when we lift the second foot, we go on the inside edge and then use the other foot as a counterweight and then switch back in the outside edge when we are going faki. This move is not th that hard to do, um, but it's easy to get lost on how, how to progress and what is going wrong, so we look into it together. So first uh, you have to learn uh, um, a move which I explained in the How to Gazelle tutorial. So this will really help you to learn the Gazelle before and for me this is a prerequisite to, to this move. So first you have to use both inside edge of your skate to draw uh, a small circle and uh, do a 180. This will help you uh, rotate uh, with both feet on the ground. For that you should keep your shoulders straight and just do one cl smooth turn instead of going a small turn, small turn, small turn until 180. Uh, once you have that, so I do it quite a bunch uh, so you can see and pause if you, uh, where you want to see uh, the weight distribution a bit. Um, but basically I put uh, most of my weight on the foot, that on the leading foot that turn, so for me it's my right foot, and the other uh, is a bit lifted, uh, I try to go on the front wheel sometimes, uh, like here, uh, just to have the least width weight possible on it. Uh, you can see here I crossed my legs at the end and you should not do that. Uh, I did it for the example, because this will uh, do a bad, uh, you won't be able to do a proper lion w when you push your, your main feet uh, too much uh, on the wrong side. So yeah, don't cross your foot when doing that. And then slowly you can try to do it with uh, so by lifting more and more the second foot until you manage to do it on one foot. So don't expect it to come fast, it takes a bunch of sessions to get right. But yeah. So we will see in slow motion, here I start a first, uh, move, a first rotation to get the proper balance and then I uh, trigger the uh, three turn. Uh, so for the weight distribution, here you can see I start by having my rate uh, on the front of the of the rocker, so uh, of the skate, and once I arrive at this point, I switch to the back of the rocker by pulling my weight backward. This is a bit hard to do, but the end of the rotation when you are faki should be done on the back of the skate, while the start before you arrive at the middle of the street should be done on the front of the skate. Uh, so basically, you change your weight repartition at the same time that you change your edges. So first inside edge, front of the skate, and once you are at the middle of the three, you go on the back, uh, so on the back of the rocker, and on the outside edge. Um, keep in mind to keep the shoulder straight when doing this move. Try not to look at your feet, even if it's quite uh, hard to do uh, initially. And remember to use your arms to uh, trigger the rotation. So your arms are really useful here. You should prepare the move by balancing your arms on one way, throw your arms on the other way to start the rotation and then counterbalance with your arms to stop the rotation when you want. Uh, when you are falling and you feel that the move is not going well, uh, just extend your arm uh, in a fast move, this will stop any rotation that you have ongoing and you can then stabilize more easily when you fall. So here we can see again, prepare the, uh, the arms, throw them to help uh, the rotation and then counterbalance with them. Uh, we will sh see the same clip again, this time pay attention to my uh, uh, foot that is in the air, so my uh, left foot. You can see that it is, it is also acting as a counterbalance. Um, so yeah, this is really useful but came really late to me to become aware of this uh, other foot. Um, maybe it can help you, I, I'm not sure of, uh, of that, but if you want to enhance the move, 
uh, take into consideration your other foot but if you are just starting out and, and discovering this move uh, don't focus on your other foot and we'll next uh, see my first step uh, learning this move I found some old videos about it uh, before that don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more tutorials and this really helped me and motivate me to produce more tutorials uh, so yeah this is the first video I found so I used um, a three, uh, three wheels uh, setup uh, three time uh, three by one uh, one ten, uh, and he has, uh, had a slight rocker. I used uh, worn off uh, wheels uh, on the uh, outside, so it made the turning a bit easier. So you can see here, I had no way to balance properly. I really used my strength to trigger the move, so I didn't use the edges, and it was it was more a little slide to rotate than uh, a proper street turn. But don't forget to have fun and if you find one way better for you to learn the move, uh, do it, even if it's not uh, the same as what I do. Uh, just do what you find fun and intuitive to you. So here I kept uh, using my strength, but it, when it was uh, done on uh, 4 by uh, 100 so I had more stability. But at the end of the move I couldn't stop the, uh, the strength I, I gave to it. Uh, so this was uh, one year ago, two, uh, two years ago also. And I was, uh, as I couldn't stop, I was uh, almost forced to do multiple turns. So uh, for this last move, uh, you can see I crossed my legs before doing it because this is another kind of three turn. Uh, this is just to showcase the, uh, the various possibilities. So here again, I'm crossing the leg and starting on the outside edge and finishing on the inside, uh, which is the inverse of the uh, of what uh, of this three turn I explained uh, to you earlier. And this is it for this tutorial, you can join our Discord to vote for the next tutorial. And yeah, this is it, thanks for following, um, and remember, have fun and experiment with your surroundings. See you!